Good morning, you guys. It's good to see you guys. Got my Santa Claus shirt on because it's almost Christmas time. Wait, it's not Christmas yet. Man, I keep thinking, oh, there's so much happening this year. I keep thinking it's got to be almost at the end now. But I guess we're still in the middle. Let's do some gymnastics. That'll be fun, you guys. Let's do this thing. We got to start off today. We got to do our good roll practice today. Roll practice, roll practice, roll practice, okay? Let's start with our good forward rolls. We want to have those feet and knees together. Nice and fast. Boom, and standing up with no hands in there. Good. Let's do four more good forward rolls. Boom, standing it up. Good. Three more. Boom, Good. Two more. Got it. Good. One more. Last good roll. There we go. Good job, you guys. Okie dokie. Moving on now to our side rolls. We want to make this a nice habit so whenever we fall, we just roll. So, on our hands and knees. Nice and quick roll with our feet up in the air. Back up to our knees, okay? Those feet nice and high in the air. Back and forth. Feet all the way come up. Back and forth like that. Roll and right over. Good. All right. Two more times. Here we go. Roll up and roll back. All right. Very good. Now, we're going to see if we can do that side roll again, but starting on our feet this time. So we're up on our feet like this. And then we go hands and knees and roll back up to our feet like that. On our feet, down to hands and knees. And side roll back up to our feet. Good. All right, let's try it again. A little bit faster. Side roll up to our feet. Good. A little bit faster. Side roll up to our feet. Good. A little bit faster. Side roll right up. A little bit faster, side, roll right up. There we go. Nice and smooth there, okay? All right, good, you guys. Now, let's do those backwards rolls that we practice. Remember, at the gym, when we have a nice soft mat, we'll go straight over our head and we'll push with our hands like this at the gym. Roll and push. That's what we do at the gym. But at home, we have hard ground. So we're gonna do our shoulder rolls. We're gonna stick our head to the side and we roll over the other shoulder. Just like that, we're gonna do our shoulder rolls, okay? Let's do four more of those. Head to the side, shoulder roll right over. Good, here we go, three more. Stick your head to the side, shoulder roll right over. Good, two more, almost there. Here we go, head to the side. Shoulder roll it up, good, good. One more, last one. Here we go, nice fast roll right up. Good, good job you guys. Good work on that good roll practice, that good roll practice. Okay, you guys, moving on. Remember we did our juggling a few weeks ago? Let's practice our juggling. This is a fun one that you can learn at home, okay? All right, remember to learn how to juggle. We started, you can use a cube, a tennis ball is really good. A sock all folded up is pretty good to learn how to juggle with, okay? My socks have giant holes in them. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take them off. Okay, you guys, but you take one thing and you throw it the same height as your head over and back, okay? Same height as our head, over and back. We gotta get the hang of that throw. One hand to the other, the same height as our head, okay? And then we're gonna use two things. The first one goes over and the second one comes under, okay? Over and under, okay? Over and under, just like that, okay? Then we'll try the other side, over and under, over and under, over and under. We practice that a bunch of times, over and under, over and under. That's the, that's the key piece of juggling right there is the two balls or the two cubes or the two socks and going over and under like that, okay? And then once you've got that mastered, then you can add in the third one. You start with the one with two in the hand and we go get our good throws going over and under just like that. Oh, there we go. And then we can do our tricks. And there, whoa. We can go over juggling. We can do little ones, we can do big ones. 
could do all kinds of juggling like that. That's one I was practicing last week. I'm not very good at it yet, but I'm learning it. Frisbees. Let's see if I can juggle these frisbees. Let's see. Whoa! There we go. <laughs> Here it is. You got it. I gotta practice that some more. I'm just getting the hang of that one. All right, so that's our juggling practice. If you're at home, you want something to do, and learn that juggling over and under, learning the throw first, and then adding in all the balls after that. All right, good juggle practice there, you guys. Okay, let's do our little bit of flexibility here. Boom, let's start with our good straddle position. Let's reach our hand over our head as far as we can. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, zero, good. And reach it over and down to the other side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, good. Elbows down to the middle. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, good. Okay, now, super mega challenge. See if you can do your full straddle pancake. I cannot do this anymore. See if you can get your head down, and if you can, get your shoulders to touch the ground. Okay, let's try it. Here we go. Shoulders touch. Ugh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Good try. That's our straddle pancake. Black like pancake. Okie dokie. Let's do our good pike stretches. Up in that tuck position. Fingertips down to the ground. Make those legs all the way straight. We'll hold, we count to 10 in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Good, back to the Okay, this time we'll get our fists down to the ground or super challenge if you can get your palms all the way down to the ground, okay? I'm going to count to 10 in French this time. Here we go. And push it up, good. Un. Two, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. Ah, that's a good one. Okay, let's work on our splits for a little bit. Our splits for a little bit. So we're going to start. We're going to have our one leg straight in front of us. We're going to put one hand on either side. And then we're going to slide our foot forwards as far as we can in our good splits. Okay, here we go. We'll count to ten in Russian. Odin, dva, tri. Chetiro, pion, chest, siem, bolsiem, diez, diez. There we go. Good job, you guys. Pull all up. All right. Other leg in front of us. One hand on either side. Slide down. Good. I'm going to try to count to ten in German. I'm not very good at it yet. Ein, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sept, sieben, acht, non, zehn. I think that's right. All right, here we go. Come on out. Good. Middle splits. Here we go. Big middle splits. Hold it in there. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, keep going. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Good job. All right. Last piece of flexibility. We're going to do different ways of doing our bridge, okay? First, today on our first bridge, let's try to push up in our bridge. Let's see if we can get our legs straight and together. Legs straight and together, okay? I can almost do this. I'm not quite there. I've got to keep practicing at this one. But try to concentrate on your legs being straight and together, okay? Here we go. On your marks. Get set. And go. Hold them straight and together. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. There we go, that was good. Okay, next kind of bridge. We're gonna push up in our bridge. We're gonna hold our one leg straight up in the air for five seconds and then switch and put the other leg straight up in the air for five seconds. So five seconds, one leg up, five seconds, the other leg up, okay? Let's give it a shot, here we go. On your marks, get set, and go. Hold the one leg, five, four, three, Two, one, good, and other leg. Up, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good job, you guys. Very nice and done. 
Okay, next kind of bridge we're going to do. So last week we practiced a little bit on our limbers, our front limbers. So we were up in the bridge and we tucked our feet way underneath us and we tried to stand up on our feet, okay? Here's another way to work on it if you have a wall that you can use. So we're going to get way up nice and close to the wall and we're going to push up to our bridge nice and close and we're going to walk our hands up the wall, okay? So we're nice and close. We're going to push up to our bridge and we're going to use our hands to push, push, push ourselves up, up against the wall. That's a good one. Let's try it again. Let's do four more of those. These are good ones. These are going to help our front handspring and our back handspring a lot. All right, push it up tall and push with our hands. Push to stand ourselves up. Very good. Three more times. Let's do it. Laying it down. Pushing up and push, push, push to stand ourselves up. Yes, two more, two more. Here we go. That's it. Ready. Pushing up tall. Good. Push, push, push. Ah. One more time. Last one. This is super good. We're getting more flexible. We're getting stronger. And we're getting the hang of the position that we need to have our legs in to finish our front handspring and our front walkover. All right, here we go. One more. Pushing up tall. Good. Push, push, push to stand ourselves up. All right, you guys. These are awesome. You guys, I'm getting so much more flexible in my back than I used to be now that I'm doing videos with you guys. This is awesome, this is good. Okay, gotta move ourselves along. We're gonna do our strength holds now. Here we go. We're gonna do our frog positions, elbow planches, okay? We're also, we're gonna use an object like a couch or a chair or your bed, okay? We need an object that's about the right size, that is something that we can jump off of, that we can do a little jump off of. Not a big jump, just something we can do a little jump off. We're gonna use an object like that. Okay, let's start with our strength holds on the ground, and then we're gonna do some up on the object. Here we go, our frog position, in our tuck. Knees out to the side. When you go down to the creek, all the frogs, when they're doing their handstands, this is what they look like. This is what frogs look like in a handstand. Just kidding, frogs don't do a handstand. But if they did do a handstand, I bet this is what they would look like. Knees out to the side, elbows in the knees, hands down, and lean forwards, and hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Good. That frog position is so good. We're gonna do that one more time. It's so good because it helps us learn how to balance on our hands. Because like we talked about before, your hands are a lot like your feet. And the balance, you never think about it. It's just automatic. The same because you practiced walking around for so many years, you practiced it. The same on your hands. The more you practice, the more that balance just becomes automatic and you don't even think about it as your hands balance you. All right, let's do it again. Elbows on your knees, hands down. Lean forwards and balance and hold 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, go, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good. It's easier to learn how to balance in the frog position than it is in the handstand because your center of gravity, your, the weight of your body is low and close to the ground. So it's easier to balance something down there than it is when your body is all the way up here and your center of gravity is way up here. So that's one way why it's nice to learn how to balance down low like that. Okay, you guys, we gotta move along. Here we go, let's try our jackrabbit position. This one is tough. This takes a lot of strength in our shoulders. We're gonna put our fist down. We're gonna be sitting on our feet. We're gonna put our fist down on the ground like this. And we're gonna see if we can lift at least our knees up. Or if we can, knees on one foot. Or if we can, knees on two feet up. Okay, lift up as much as we can. Knees, one foot, and if we can, two feet up, okay? Let's try it for 10 seconds, here we go. On your marks, get set, and go. Hold in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, zero. There you go, good. We're gonna rest it, we're gonna try it one more time. I like the jackrabbit position a lot for us to learn because in gymnastics you have to be really strong, not just holding things, but pushing things away. You have to be able to push out like that through your shoulders. And this jackrabbit works that push, works that strong push. And also, you have to be incredibly strong at compressing your body into a little ball. You have to be able to wham, get into a nice little ball. And the jackrabbit position makes you work that compression strength at the same time. So you get to work both of those things at the same time. Okay, one more, jackrabbit position. Knees up, if we can, knees in one foot. If we can, knees in two feet. Here we go. On your marks, get set, and go. Hold 10, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good. There we go. That's a good strength hold position. Okay, we got two more strength hold positions to do. We're gonna practice our elbow planche and we're gonna practice our L. Okay? These are both tough positions. Okay, the elbow planche, the elbow planche. Alright, here's how we're gonna do it. We've got our object, whatever it is, our couch, our bed, our chair. We're going to take our elbows and stick our elbows into our stomach, like that, okay? Then we put our hands down on our object, and we see if we can hold our legs up in the air, just a little bit up in the air, just like that, okay? So the elbows come in, the hands go down, and we see if we can hold our legs up just a little bit in the air, okay? Just going to hold our legs a little bit up, not going to try to lift them way up just, just yet, not just yet. Here we go. Elbows in, hands down, lean forwards and hold. 10, 9, 8, 6, 5, good. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All right, you guys. We're going to try one more elbow plant here. Elbows in the stomach, hands down, lifting those legs up. 10 more seconds. Last one, elbow plant. Here we go. Elbows in the stomach, hands down, lifting legs up a little bit. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, good, four, three, two, one, zero. Yeah, that's a good strength hold position. You can do anywhere, out on the park bench, wherever you are, you can practice that elbow planche. That's very good. You guys, and eventually it's gonna look like this, just so you see, eventually we're gonna lean and we're gonna hold and it's gonna be straight, straight out, okay? Eventually we're gonna work up to doing that. All right, last strength hold. This is a tough one. This is a really hard one. We're gonna to try to do our L position, okay? We're gonna see if we can push up and hold our feet up off the ground. Let's see if we can hold it for five seconds. This is super hard. We're gonna squeeze our legs, we're gonna be on our fists, and we're gonna see if we can push up and hold our legs up just like this. We're gonna push everything up and see if we can hold for five seconds. Super mega hard, let's see if we can do it. Here we go. On your marks, get set, and go. Lift five. Four, three, two, one, good. Come down and rest, come down and rest. You guys, this is one of those gymnastics positions that your body type really helps with. If you're a person who has really short legs, it's a lot easier. If you're a person who has really long legs compared to your body, it's a lot harder. <laughs> so your body type really changes certain gymnastic skills that are easier and harder for you sometimes. All right, here we go. So. Hands down, we're gonna lift those legs up. On your marks, get set, and go. Lift, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good job, you guys. Okay, if you see, speaking of body type, if you see gymnasts in the Olympics, usually they're very short people, right? They're very short, because it helps to have a small little body to do lots of flips and twists. But sometimes they're really high level, elite level gymnasts who are really tall. And one of the nice things about the tall gymnast is the elements that require swing, like palm horse and bars and high bar. They can make, tall people can make really nice, beautiful swings. And their gymnastics when they're taller looks beautiful and graceful and elegant. So it's really funny to watch like Olympic level gymnastics and there's usually a lot of very short people doing lots of flips and twists. And the tall people have big, beautiful, elegant swings and graceful elements. So it's kind of cool to see how different body types do different types of gymnastics like that. All right, you guys, we've got to move along. We've got one more quick set of things to do. 
we got to do our stick contest now. So we're going to find our object again, our couch, our bed, whatever it is, and we're going to practice jump and stick. And our stick is where we land and we don't move our feet at all. We don't move our feet at all, okay? So let's do three regular jump and stick. We're going to jump, stick, and when we stick, we're going to put our arms out for a nice balance and we're going to bend our legs so we're in a nice, safe, strong position like that, okay? Two more times. Jump and stick. Here we go. Jump and stick. Good. One more time. Here we go. Jump and stick a Boom. Okay, now let's make it a little bit harder. This time we're going to do tuck, jump, and stick. Knees up high, both knees up high, tuck, jump, and stick. We're going to do three of them. Ready to tuck, jump, knees up high, and stick. Good. Two more times. Here we go. Jump and stick. Knees up high. Stick. Just like that. Those arms out. Those legs nice and bent. One more time. Here we go. Jump and stick. Bam. Boom. Good. Just like that. Okay, now, straddle jump and stick. Got to do two more things. Straddle jump at our half turns. Ready, straddle jump. Legs wide up to the side. Straddle, stick. Good. Two more, just like that. Here we go. Big straddle. Stick. Good. Here we go. One more. Big straddle. Stick. Good. Okay. Now, this last one's tough. We're going to do our jump half turn. So we're going to start facing this way, and as we jump, we're going to turn and land and stick. Okay? So half turn, jump, turn, and stick. Good. Two more, just like that. Half turn and stick. We jump and turn and stick. Good. One more time. Here we go. Ready? Here's our good jump and turn and stick. Excellent. All right, good job today, you guys. We practiced our new, our different kind of limbers where we did our bridge against the wall. We walked our hands to stand up. That was a really good one. Practiced those strength holds, those frog positions, all those good ones. Did our stick practice, our good flexibility with our nice splits in there. Nice job today, you guys. Very good work. All right, you guys, do your gymnastics at home. Get outside, get out to the creek, see what kind of animals you can see down there. And we'll see you guys next week, all right? Bye-bye now.